is an eye opener. Don't sleep on it. Watch the whole thing with me because I, I seen a snippet of it and said, oh, this is something I want to watch. But however, I'm doing it in video form because it's necessary. A lot of us think slavery just white people went over to Africa, took a bunch of black people, and called it a day, you know? And that's just not how it necessarily happened. Now, we all hear of the black people sold black people into slavery and this, that, and the third, but let's give a, get a good historical, you know, consensus on what exactly, how exactly did slavery really start that they don't teach in school? Oh, some some real teachers actually do. My African teacher do, but let's begin. By the way, the link to this video is in the description below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Subscribe to both channels because all on point. The instrumental use of the history of slavery today also underlies the claim that slavery grew out of racism. For most of its long history, which includes most of the history of the human race, slavery was largely not the enslavement of racially different people, for the simple reason that only in recent centuries has either the technology or the wealth existed to go to another continent to get slaves and transport them en masse across an ocean. People were enslaved because they were vulnerable, not because of how they looked. The peoples of the... Stop. That is not... You can't say that's 100% true, though. That's kind of opinion because we know that some... Like, it, it turned into a super hatred that still exists to this day. Let's begin. The Balkans were enslaved by fellow Europeans, as well as by the peoples of the Middle East, for at least six centuries before the first African was brought to the Western Hemisphere. Before the modern era, by and large, Europeans enslaved other Europeans. Asians enslaved other Asians. Africans enslaved other Africans. And the indigenous peoples of the Western Hemisphere enslaved other indigenous peoples of the Western Hemisphere. Slavery was not based on race, much less on theories about race. It's like we know what slavery became, you know, and we know what the hatred became. So I hate when people try to downgrade the year, but they... Put it this way, it might have started like that, but they eventually started to hate niggas. I don't care what you say. Everybody, the whole world now hate us, and we doing bad, bad all around the damn globe. It can't be a conspiracy. Like, come on. Only relatively, relatively late, late in history, history did enslavement, enslavement across, across racial, racial lines occur on, on such a scale, scale as to promote an ideology, ideology of racism that outlasted the institution of slavery, of slavery itself. itself. Wherever a separate people were enslaved, they were disdained or despised, whether they were different by country, religion, caste, race, or tribe. In East Africa, the Maasai were feared slave raiders, and other African tribes, either alone or in conjunction with Arabs, enslaved their more vulnerable neighbors. As late as 1891, it was reported that Manuema slavers had demoralized surrounding tribes, destroying crops, and famine reigned everywhere. Even in the early 20th century, Abyssinians were still raiding other Africans and carrying off slaves. It was 1922 before the British had gained sufficient control in Tanganyika to stamp out slavery there. Arabs were the leading slave raiders in East Africa, ranging over an area larger than all of Europe. The total number of slaves exported from East Africa during the 19th century has been estimated to be at least 2 million. The form in which the story of slavery has reached most people today has been along the lines of the best-selling book and widely watched television miniseries, Roots, by Alex Haley. Challenged on the historical accuracy of Roots, Haley said, I tried to give my people a myth to live by. This instrument... You know what's crazy? Roots literally was a PG version of what really happened during slavery. You know, like, after watching this video, hopefully I get a better understanding of what I mean. Like, hopefully, like, they clear a lot of stuff. Because they, 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 hopefully he exposed some stuff that went on during slavery that was just downright wrong. You know, because Roots, when I watched that, we all felt like, yeah, but we all seen Amistad too. You know what I'm saying? We all seen other movies that was based off of reality 
And that if that was made as a myth, then imagine what the reality really was. We don't emphasize on what the real reality was. It's people, grandmas getting tapped in the basement by 13 by the people who paid to get it. Like, you know what I mean, they used to do our people wrong. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway. The use, use of history, history or, or purported, purported history, history is, is open, open to, to the, the same, same objections, objections as other instrumental, instrumental myth making. making. Despite the impression created by Roots, during the era of the massive slave trade from West Africa, a white man was more likely to catch malaria in Africa than to catch slaves himself. The average life expectancy of a white man in the interior of sub-Saharan Africa at that time was less than one year. By and large, men from Europe or the Western Hemisphere came to the coasts of Africa, bought their slaves, and left as soon as possible. Even so, the death rates among the white crews of the ships carrying slaves to the Western Hemisphere were as high as the death rates among the slaves themselves. It Western Hemisphere were as high as the death rates among the slaves themselves. It Do y'all believe that? Do y'all believe that more of the people who went over there to take the slave, like y'all, y'all really believe? I mean, it is believable. We seen Amistad, but however, like, come on. Two million? So you're telling me two million pilgrims or whatever? Two million of the people who went over there and took... You can't say two million of them died. I don't think two million, I mean, no, no, she died. But anyway, we're going to go into it. I appreciate it. It was only much, much later, later, after, after quinine, quinine and, and other, other medical, medical measures enabled, enabled Europeans to survive where there, where there were tropical diseases, diseases. Was, it was it possible, possible for them, them to invade Africa in force and, and establish empires there? there. But by then, the Atlantic, the Atlantic slave, slave trade, trade had already been ended. ended. During, During the era, the era of that, that trade, trade Africa, Africa was, was largely ruled by Africans, Africans who, established who established the conditions, conditions under which slave sales took place. place. Africa, Africa was, was largely ruled by Africans, Africans who, established who established the conditions under which slave sales took place. place. The crew of a slave ship was in no position to defy African rulers and their armies by going out across the land and capturing people willy-nilly. The stronger African peoples captured and enslaved the weaker peoples. The same pattern found over the centuries in Europe, Asia, the Western Hemisphere, and Polynesia. In the Asaland, the Ngoni and Yao swaggered over and terrorized other tribes. In Uganda, the Baganda made life miserable for their neighbors. And the Nioro and Hima of Anko enslaved Toro women and children. The Tutsi dominated the Hutu in Rwanda, the Maasai lorded it over the Kikuyu and Kamba, and the latter, in turn, held the Indorobo in a kind of serfdom. It was precisely the fact that Europeans, except for the Portuguese, seldom participated in the raids that captured and enslaved Africans. Here's one thing I gotta say. Was it right, though? Like, okay, slavery went on, right? But was it right, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, we we try to ignore, like, yo, don't try to make slavery sound normal in no type of way because no human want to be no damn slave. You want to build a country, build it on your own. Well, that's a way, I, I mean, I'm just saying, don't that make more sense? I, I hate when people try to downgrade the sin all the way to, well, everyone else was doing it, but I'm saying... Keep it a buck. That enabled, that enabled most, most people in Europe, Europe and the Americas, Americas to, remain to remain oblivious to the traumatic experience that this was, with, with some Africans, Africans committing suicide to avoid capture and, and wives being whipped as they tried to cling to their husbands or children. Or children. Historian yeah. David yeah. Breon Davis pointed yeah. out that yeah. Europeans had little contact with the actual yeah. process of enslavement yeah. and that yeah. as late as 17... Went to the coast and bought them. Little contact. Went to the coast. That sounds like a whole interaction to me. Sound like some international trade international trade is going on to me. You feel what I'm saying? They passing this around like Pokemon cards and shit. Ain't no way in hell. In 1921, the Royal African Company asked its agents to investigate the modes of enslavement in the interior. Europeans typically saw only the end results. Enslaved people being offered for sale on the coast. It was much the same story in the Ottoman Empire where those who bought slaves had no idea what these slaves had been through before. The unique position of the Western world in the history, and especially the destruction of slavery, need not imply that there was unanimity within the West on this institution. 
in addition to whites who defended the enslavement of Africans on racial grounds, or who opposed general emancipation on social grounds, there were many whites, and even blacks, who defended slavery as a matter of self-interest as slave owners. Although most... You hear that? Now we did, yep. Black people in America did have black slaves, the economy and all that. It was, it was definitely about what he's saying it's about. It's just hard to hear, man. I'm black. It's bad enough, like, we see how our race is all over the planet. And then we be like, oh, yeah, we also helped in that shit y'all keep on complaining about for years. Like, we we was the only ones who did anything of the two, you guys. You know what I'm saying? It make, so that make, when we really put the, all right, let's just keep it a buck. As a black person, when we really put the pieces together, black people kind of put themselves in a bad situation. And we had our hand on our own demise and our own destruction as well as today. And not only that, we still see the same tribalistic complexes and stuff that's, that went on during slavery in the hood today. Bloods, Crips, etc. But I don't want to get all polite. Y'all know me. I mean, let me get <laughs> YouTube and shit because I don't want to go too far because people be hating me on this joint. So I, I got I to tread lightly. Black, Black owners, owners of slaves, slaves in the United States, States were only nominal, nominal owners, owners of members, members of their, their own, own families. families. There, there were, were thousands, thousands of other, other blacks, blacks in the antebellum South, South who were commercial slave owners, just, just like, like their, their white, white counterparts. counterparts. An, An estimated one-third one of the free persons, persons of color in New Orleans, Orleans were slave owners, and, and thousands, thousands of these slave owners volunteered, volunteered to fight, fight for the Confederacy during the Civil War. Uh, black, black slave owners were even more common in, common in the Caribbean. Caribbean. In short, there were many defenders of slavery in the West, even in the 19th century. And outside the West, slavery was too widely accepted to require defense. No other nation... Slavery was normal. Not only that, they helped. Who they, who, what they going sell to sell them some slaves and then be like, hold on, we need them back. Like, no, they ain't no coming back. I don't even think they built boats. Like, they had no African boats or nothing. Well they, well, they did, but you, oh my lord, they ain't even, they ain't play the video and shut up. Ended slavery in the same way as the United States did, and few ended it after so short a struggle, as history is measured. How and why did slavery end in most of the world? There were two major processes. Over the centuries, as more and more territories around the world consolidated into nation-states with their own armies and navies, raiding those territories to capture and enslave the people who lived within them became more hazardous in itself and also risked military retaliation against the countries. It got played out. More hazardous in itself and also risked military retaliation against the countries from which the raiders came. Thus, more and more peoples became off-limits to slave raiders over time. Put differently, the areas which remained subject to slave raiding over the centuries were primarily those where the people lived in smaller or weaker societies. Such societies continued to exist where it was difficult, for geographic or other reasons, to consolidate large areas under one government. This was true of the Balkans, the backwaters of Asia, and much of sub-Saharan Africa. By the early modern era, sub-Saharan Africa, with its numerous and severe geographic handicaps, was one of the last remaining areas from which vast numbers of people could be enslaved. Put me on here. So basically, black people helped sell other black people into slavery just so the algorithm get exactly what I'm saying, just so I could get demonetized. No, but seriously, though, it's messed up when you really look at it as a black person because we don't want to accept the truth. A lot of people don't want to accept the truth. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? We helped our own destruction as we continue to do today. And I mean, I, I'm not... I'm, who was, who's the really blame? Do we blame the people for coming over there? Like, yo, I trade you some goods for some people. Or do we do a little bit more historical in-depth search on how exactly slavery started and what happened during those times? You understand? Like, maybe go and see what goods did they sell for how much and for for who for what? All right, like two baby Africans for like like a bag of rice or whatever. Like, how what did y'all sell to them for them? Like, I'm going to go more in-depth. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you want to know, too, because I want to know some stuff. But let's actually come together and figure out this and come up with a whole series or a consensus of what we can really say at the end of the day about how slavery really started. And can we really be 
all, uh, you know, ser you know, like like right now we like Black Lives Matter, but we need to be we should have just said Black Lives Matter too. You know, just throw a little two at the end that would have helped our whole race. But anyway, what's your thoughts on the situation? I'm already like a belly button. Peace.